Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Right now I'm not wearing any makeup. The, this is real, this is my face right now, I know. Before you guys ask me any questions, I did this two weeks ago when I actually did fall on my face. After my accident, um, I was a bloody, scarry mess. Um, I'm probably gonna insert a picture because I have so many pictures. Oh my I ended up getting these brace things on my teeth. Um, and with these like really random bangs because the hospital cut my hair for me um so please ignore these random sticky pieces i've tried so hard to put hairspray on them and keep them tamed but what can you do a little disclaimer do not put makeup on open wounds or wounds with a scab on it because that those two situations will lead to an infection and infections are not fun to deal with and they can lead to serious complications and problems so hopefully i can give you a lot of tips and tricks today to help you along your healing process and how to cover these wounds up when you got to so before i keep babbling on um let's get started so i always put my hair up before i do my makeup just so my hair doesn't get into my makeup and into my face and mess it up I apply a moisturizer with sunscreen every single day to my face. After the scabs on your wounds fall off, your skin enters the remodeling phase and turns bright pink and red. This skin is like baby skin. And during this phase, your skin is extremely susceptible to sun damage. That's why I use a moisturizer with SPF 50 because I'm already extremely pale and sunburned so easily. So applying sunscreen for me is especially important. Any sun damage can lead to permanent discoloration and dark spots. In order to prevent scarring and promote healing, if I'm not wearing makeup during the day, I'll use Aquaphor on my wounds over my moisturizer. And at night, I just use a vitamin E oil like this one. I use the LA Girl Color Corrector in color green. Covering up dark wounds can be so tricky, so I fast forwarded this video to show you how I cover up my most difficult wound on my chin. I apply a thin layer of the green corrector and then using the CoverGirl Outlast foundation in a shade two shades darker than my skin tone, I lightly blend the colors together, being extra careful to not rub the products off the marks and spots on my face. I do that by focusing my blending on the edges of the marks. And this is just the first step in covering the marks up. So obviously, completely covering up red spots and marks on your face takes a lot of makeup and patience. But of course, as your skin heals, it becomes so much easier to cover these spots up. Honestly, even like waiting a week or two weeks, you will notice a dramatic change in the condition of your face. So now we're going to even out our face by applying a layer of foundation all over using a damp makeup sponge. I use the L'Oreal True Match Foundation, which is my favorite foundation of all time. I really like this foundation because it goes on so effortlessly and the smell isn't too strong and I just really like the texture. I feel like some people may think it's too liquidy because sometimes when it does come out the bottle, you can um, pour too much. Um, but I don't know, I just feel like it blends really nicely into my skin and if I do want a more full coverage look, I can just easily blend and build my foundation up and I really do like sponges as well just because they create a more natural and very well blended makeup look than rather using brushes or your fingers and once again I'm being very extra careful to not rub any makeup off that I already applied or smudge any of it so now we move on to concealer. I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, which is a fan favorite not only of mine, but of tons of other people. There's so many great reviews for this product. And I use this concealer to not only conceal any blemishes or discolorations on my face, but I also use it to lighten up under my eyes and my T-zone, which is why I use a lightest shade in the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer Collection, which is about one or two shades lighter than my skin color. And I apply the concealer to under my eyes, my eyelids, my T-zone, and all over the marks on my face. And I know the placement looks really quite random, but trust me, it works. And this concealer makes a huge difference in covering up any marks or scars on my face because it helps to diminish the redness. 
And to blend in, I just use my fingers because I find it's a lot easier to blend in and I can also get into those hard to reach places. And using my fingers also warms up the product so when it comes to applying concealer under my eyes, I can help diminish creases. And to set my foundation and concealer, I use the NYX Studio Finishing Powder with a fluffy brush. Powder just helps to get rid of any shine and excess oil and moisture and just add extra coverage. And this is my go-to brush that I use for a lot of products because, I don't know, I feel like you really don't need to spend a lot of money on brushes. Um, this brush, you know, can do my contour, it can do my bronzer, my blush, and I don't know, I feel like I don't really have money for brushes, so this one works perfectly fine. And for the rest of my makeup routine, I'm just going to kind of fast forward and skip it because today's video, I really just wanted to focus on covering up any scars and marks on my face. But for another video, I'm definitely going to go over my whole entire makeup routine. So this right here is the final product. Obviously, after I was done doing my face makeup, I did my eye makeup and I tried fixing my hair with hairspray. These, this hair is just something else, but I had so much fun recording this video. It took a very long time, but it was really cool to do. So if you have any questions or comments about the healing process or about makeup or whatever else, just please leave them down below or you can directly message me. So I hope you all have a very happy healing process. It may take a while, but it can be fun and enjoyable and you can cover it up. So it'll be good. So I hope you all have an amazing day and I will see you later.